Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm creating an easy die cut Christmas card using new cover plate and alphabet dies from Honeybee Stamps. So let's get started. First I'm creating my sky by blending spun sugar, shaded lilac, blueprint sketch, and chip sapphire distress oxide inks onto a panel of Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. I blend the colors back and forth until the transition between colors is seamless. Then I set the panel aside to dry while I work on my sentiment. I'm using the new B Narrow uppercase alphabet die set. First I've adhered a piece of double sided adhesive to the back of two A2 panels of white cardstock. Next I adhere another piece of double sided adhesive to the back of a piece of sugar crystal glitter cardstock. Then I arrange the letters I need for my sentiment on the white cardstock, temporarily hold it in place with purple tape, and run it through my die cutting machine. Next I use my little tool to poke the holes in the die to release the cardstock from the die. Then I carefully peel up the purple tape. I like to layer these die cuts for more dimension, so I repeat this process three times on white cardstock and once on glitter cardstock. My sentiment also needs two tees, so I die cut a few extra on the second panel. Once I'm finished die cutting, I start layering my letters. I peel the cardstock W off the adhesive backing and adhere it to another W. You could use liquid glue for this, but the double sided adhesive tape is really much faster and much less messy. I layer the letters with three layers of white cardstock and one layer of sugar crystal glitter cardstock. Once I'm done, I place a piece of scrap paper over the letters and use my hands to really press the die cut pieces together to make sure they are adhered well. When my blended panel is dry, I splatter it with water and blot off the excess. Then I die cut it with the older Northern Star cover plate die. Next I die cut the new Birch cover plate dies from silver glitter and white cardstock. I want an open area in the middle of my sky for my sentiment, so I trim off some of the silver glitter panel. Then I 
Then I use liquid glue to adhere that to the white cardstock layer. Next, I adhere my blended panel to the birch tree cover plate dies and then adhere that to the card base. As you can see, my cat likes to help. Once my background is complete, I'm ready to add my glittery sentiment. I use a ruler to mark the approximate edges and center of my panel as a guide for my sentiment. Then I peel the letters off their adhesive backing and adhere them to the panel using the ruler as an approximate guide for spacing. And that's it! You can find more information on the brand new release over on my blog or in the YouTube description below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe, make sure you click the bell so you're notified the next time I post. Here are a few more die cut card videos you might be interested in, and until next time, have an amazing day and happy crafting! Bye!